Tattooing has played a big part in the constant moving around that I experienced as a child, teenager, and even now as a young adult. Just about everybody has tattoos in the military. It's one of the things you, you see immediately once you start talking with vets. I've known these flowers my whole life because they would always grow in the early summer when I would be in Maine. I lived in Beijing, China, and Moscow, Russia, and Mumbai, India, and San Francisco, California, and New York City, and now Connecticut. I started getting tattoos at such a pivotal age as a young teenager in Russia. That was kind of the age where I was starting to realize I don't have a physical home to go back to. It kind of cemented tattooing as a way to make a home within myself that I can't really have as a location outside of myself. I was an artist my whole life. I made comic books as a kid. By 13, I drew my dad a tattoo. It first put the idea in my head. After high school, I just couldn't really work normal jobs. I guess, you know, like, I, I don't know. I'm like that typical, like, angsty kid at that point who had, like, authority issues and just didn't want to do anything. I'm like, man, I have to go do something. I'm going to go start this path. I was in the military for almost eight years, joined right out of high school, did seven years, ten months. Getting a tattoo, going through that pain was like a way of passage. Since I'd wanted a tattoo for a really long time, but my mom hates tattoos, so <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. And then I came to college, and I had a lot of struggles with m mental health issues, and I ended up spending a couple days in a mental hospital. Being on the other side of that is like a testimony of my strength and resilience. So the tattoos of flowers, and they're called lupins, and when you're driving down the highway, you just see these big beautiful fields of like purple and pink and like dark blue. It's on my upper thigh, and it, it was to cover up self-harm scars. So that was one of the reasons why my mom let me get the tattoo. I think when I was first getting tattoos, I didn't really know what I stood for, if I stood for anything. I got three tattoos while I was a senior, so I didn't really know what I was doing or where I was going. It's kind of like I was like trying to grab onto something. And then while I was in the military, it was, you know, kind of shaping my identity, being part of a community, a show of my commitment to something. I went to a bunch of different tattoo shops. And I said, hey, will you guys teach me? And some of them were mean, some of them were nice, some of them told me to come back with more art in a month. And I just kept doing it and doing it. And eventually, I went by this shop called Plan 9, and the guy who ended up teaching me looked at me and instantly said no. But I'm like, all right, that's fine. What do I need to know? Because I'm gonna do this whether you teach me or someone else. So he said I can come clean whenever I want. I was there every day for the next two weeks. And that's when he finally said he would teach me how to tattoo. I'm definitely drawn to the permanency of tattooing and the fact that I'm in control of that permanency. I can make the decision to do something and it's never going to be taken away from me or go away. Choosing a tattoo after the military took me a long time to actually like figure out now what I want to put on my body. I mean, I definitely like thought about what this tattoo kind of means for me as a reflection from who I am now versus who I was. The fact that it's something that I get to choose for myself is really powerful. And especially because it's an added reminder on top of all the pain and the hurt that I caused myself. Regardless of how bad the winter is, the flowers will always bloom in the spring. I think the act of tattooing someone is an act of love because you're giving this art to someone. The tattoo artist is giving a part of themselves kind of as a gift for someone else to have and keep for their entire life. There's a certain trust involved with getting a tattoo that I think definitely involves feelings of intimacy and connection and love. 
it's such a good feeling to know that they trust you and it almost gives me more confidence going into the piece. I feel like I'm pretty blessed. I have people I've been tattooing since the start who have followed me, which is surreal to think, you know? They have some of my worst and best tattoos on them. I remember like lying there on that. It felt like a hospital bed, which added just a whole other layer. <laughs> but like lying there with my scars out for the world to see and having her so carefully and so gently. It, that was such a nice experience to actually feel someone looking at something that I had seen as so ugly for so long and making something beautiful out of it. We're growing up in such a precarious, unstable time. Since we were in elementary school, we've been told like the icebergs are melting in 30 years, Los Angeles is gonna be underwater. I do think that has contributed to my generation wanting tattoos because it's that idea of having control over permanency. We wanna feel like we can create beauty for ourselves in a world that's so chaotic.